Yeah, so we finally get to head down to Tombstone to go mine exploring. Okay, so we're here in historic Tombstone, Arizona. And we've got an invitation to go see some mines. They are going to be amazing, according to Andrew. They're huge and extensive. So we're gonna get uh, a lot of video. We're gonna have a great time. Tony's here, Jeff's here, Leela's here, Andrew's here. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Keep watching. So we've all read about the gunfight at OK Corral where the Earp brothers and Doc Holliday shot it out with the Clantons and the McClarys. Did you know the reason that Tombstone exists is because of the silver mines that were right on the edge of town. I really love the old wagons and ore cars that dot the area. It makes it feel really authentic, because it is. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah. I'll race you here too. Neck looks oh, really good. Be April 1st, I'm going to do a shirt that says Fools and Asses. <laughs> oh, oh, brilliant, brilliant. Last year I did Hello there, buddy. Hello the there, buddy. Yeah, this is the path that we take to get into the mine. And you can really see the dip of the bedding plane. So you know what I'm going to say, right? So come on, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> That's well, a lovely arch. I love that arch. Yeah. Right. This, this is, it's not consistently this radius, but this continues down a linear distance of 800 feet. Wow. Yeah. Not vertical, linear. Yeah. But it's high. This, the angle's about the same. It's roughly 30 degrees. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a nice, gentle no, dip. This, this is the tour out height. This is our advanced route. Oh. We're at the beginning of it, and it's, it's 2.7 2. miles to Oh, 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 oh. oh, wow. There's your manganese on the outer lenses of it. That is really cool. I love these little bugs. You never know what you'll find in them. Cool. All right, let's get some more. What do you think, Joanne? Is it wet in your whistle? Looking good to oh, me. Just wait, we got miles and miles to do it. Professor, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get my glasses on to look professional. Yes. All right, so where are we? Well, we're deep in the bowels of the earth, obviously. But see how this crumbly rock? Well, this is an altered rock. If I had to guess, it was an altered andesite. Uh, some type of altered basement rock. Usually hydrothermal fluids are responsible for this. And miners often referred to this as porphyry. It was real simple. And porphyry, as the miner said, makes deposits. Usually gold is what they were referring to, but silver as well, since this is a silver mine. But this is soft and crumbly. It's just like the stuff in Virginia City. And this is what hosts most of your mineral deposits because obviously you have your hydrothermal fluids, which are mineral rich, hopefully, traveling through this material, altering the rock and changing either the pH balance or the boil zone or the temp and the pressure, and it'll drop out the minerals in the process in these zones. So the minerals, would be in here, usually pockets, hopefully, and the miners would go after this. Problem is, it's very crumbly and weak, and it doesn't sustain its own weight. So it gets a little dicey. And the ones in Virginia City were 40 feet wide, and the stopes were 100 feet tall. So you could imagine square setting that. Of course, all the square sets are gone now. So imagine what that's like. Oh, that's what I do. Professor's over. <laughs> this lecture is over. No more questions. They burned out the collar? They burned the whole shaft. Ah, who did this? So this is this used to be three compartments, two cages. I can tell. Yep. Yeah. It was one of the largest shafts we had in the district. Yeah, off we go. Oh look at that, you got malachite in here too. More in this. Nice. And these little fissures. That is so cool. Mother nature is cool. And you got some nice crystals up there, little baby pegmatites. I love these really? measures. Because you never know what you're going to find in them. Hey! And this is some of the malachite. Yes. That is so cool. Right there. I love it. It's about 70 feet deep here. Straight down. Hey, what's this stone right here? Wow, look at that. 
Obviously, if you were a miner back in the day, you could not be afraid of heights. Nope. These guys worked in conditions that would make your hair curl. Oh, look at that hemp rope hanging over there. Yeah. Let's go for a ride, baby. Hey, Jeff, you can try it all you want. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Volume's down. Try it again. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. I can hear you, too. Yeah. <laughs> and I can hear you both. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, yeah. Reminds me of uh, Del Mar, where they almost literally poked that thing away. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be an inch deep where they poked it away. Yeah. Also, these timbers have got debris embedded in them. From, from the blasting, yeah. yeah. Right there, the rock in there. These are all just pock marks from blasting. As we go deeper, the stokes get very irregular. We, we start leaving the more consistent stope, like up here with the anticline, and you start getting into very irregular replacements. Where they're just Which chasing the yes, they're they just were, chasing the deposits. Yeah. yeah, the stopes below us, they were just chasing anything and everything they could find. Right. And, and a lot of them are really small. In fact, a lot of them were done by Cornish, Chinese, hey. and children. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Because it, it, so I'll show you one that. And it makes sense. Replacement deposits, they only form wherever there's enough room for that fluid to start dissolving the limestone. That's right. If there's no fissures or pockets, then forget it. And as always, Tony's rehabbing your mine. Tony, no, I thought he was taking your miner's wedges. I need this for my mine. Tony, you're hired. <laughs> I, I, yeah, sorry, I can't resist. No, that's fine. If I find something loose, I've got to. It's funny, he, we had all these ideas of what to do while he's on holiday, and he goes, I want to go to your mine, Jeff, and help you rebuild the ladders. I'm like, but we have so many things to, no, I like that. You know that. what? Yeah. That's, that's one of my favorite types of work in these places. Rebuilding yes. ladders, yeah. Well, well ladders and timbering. Yep. Joanne, if you keep looking up at the rope as you go down, make sure it's sitting somewhere happy. Yeah. Good positions. Kind of. Yeah, it's, uh, okay. Just so it doesn't drop. There she goes. Bye, Joanne. Put it in front of you, Joanne. Throw it out of the way. Or else you're going to catch up with the road because it's going to be falling around anywhere. Do, do you think I would do that? No. Uh, well, yeah, no. Oh, <laughs> Peekaboo. Ah. Uh, close to 100. You know what? Based on where we are in the line and how this is oriented, I don't know where this goes. We've got uh, stopes underneath us. Lots of them, but I don't think there's any directly under us on the 300 level, so this may lead to an area that nobody's under them. Right. Um, because the only slopes I can think of that are below us that it would lead to are further to the south, which is this direction on the right. Yeah. And then this should not hit them. The, the area around this shaft is, at least immediately around the Girard shaft, is kind of unexplored territory because there's slopes above us and slopes below that nobody's ever been in. Right. You can see where they had another stole right here. You see that? There's a pocket there. There's a pocket oh, there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh. Oh. Uh, don't we need like a rock guard right there? <laughs> yeah, you could. I mean, if you wanted to, you could. I thought the glove was more important. Huh? Oh, you. <laughs> Looks like they were gonna work over here. Did you check any of this stuff out, Joanne? No, I just went straight down to check the, the depth. Okay. You could rope down from up there to get over there if you wanted to. I gotta see what's down there. Okay. Well, I'm curious what you saw. No, no, I... Do you have your flashlight with you? Uh... No. It's not no. my pack. That's all right. Do you want me to send it down to you? Um... I'll just clip it to the rope and... Yeah, I'll just slide it in. down. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, yeah, that'll wake you up in the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna keep a break with them, you guys. Ooh, it's got a little 
step to it. It's doable. Just gotta clear this stuff out right here. Now you just go straight down. I don't like this stuff right there. That's kinda, I'd have to clear that. And I clear a little bit around that, but the rest of it is fine. Ooh, there's a headache maker right there. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. That sucked to drop my flashlight down there. Uh, we, well, know you know know deep, what? we know how deep it was. Alright. I gotta step up a little higher. There you go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Let's see if I can find. Oh, look at this. Civil defense supplies, survival rations. Yeah. 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 Number two, four, four. Uh, Holy cow! Even got plastic <laughs> cups. <laughs> Look at that, as far as you can see. Yeah, it's yeah, like, there's a barrel. It's like, how long do they think they're going to survive if there's nuclear war? It's all right, they've got all enough to keep us for two days. It's like, what then? <laughs> yeah, then <laughs> what? Come on, guys. So this, all this is down here, they've hauled out a bunch of it, so this isn't even, this is some of what was here. So they actually powder coats on the inside as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, should they, have, they should keep it pretty fresh. All the pla all these had plastic liners. Oh, okay, that's plastic. the plastic. The bits and then it was, plastic. you see it, oh, sorry, dude. It was kind of like a, kind of like a, a bread bag. Yeah. And they had big zip tie, or big uh, twist ties. Oh, okay. Like that, so. Yeah, we found just a sprinkling of them yeah. up by Delamar one time. Uh, the Delamar Perlite. Oh, I was trying to get the wood all, for you. Right? All gone now, but at one time there's a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so we're going down a manway. It starts way up there. We've done a number of offsets, comes on down, and on down to the next level. We just keep doing levels until we get down to. Downy! Up <laughs> oh, and ouch! It's slow sailing in there. Here comes Jeff. That's me, I got a fat pack. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <coughs> it's testing my metal. There's a column, and as we look, what we're gonna find is just stopes everywhere. So. They're hunting for the ore pockets. Some go up, some go down. It's saying bad air down this way. Um, I don't have my meter with me, so I'm not gonna continue on down that way. Uh, lots, of, lots of just junk, which is typical of, of working mines. A lot of this looks like just comm cable, which a lot of times you would have communications in these old mines. Being that you can't really use radios very efficiently, they're all wired. Okay, so this, this would have been the forge. Yep. You're saying this is all the smoke. So, yeah, all or the soot. So, yeah. These were coal burning. These were coal burning forges. And then, of course, a quench tank. So they would have heated stuff up in here, put it in there, and they would have came back and uh, tempered it after that. These were mainly used for sharpening drill steels. Double jack and single jack drill steels. Right. Wow. It's all cool stuff, isn't it? And these things are just 
just easiest things to walk by, but can you imagine being the guy who has to work in here all day? And let me tell you, at least right, right now, it's warm and humid in here. So this would have been a heck of a job. Look at that. Am I in your way? No, you're good. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. This is all perfect as well. Oh. There's a, quite a bit in there, actually. Saw a couple other pieces of sticks in there back towards the back, yeah. like right there. There's one. Yeah, there's bits and pieces. Bits yeah. and pieces. Imagine holding on to that and hitting that until that gets to depth. Hit, quarter turn, hit, yeah. quarter turn, hit, quarter turn, hit, quarter turn, all day for 10 hours. And you probably got what, four or five more at different lakes up to four feet? We found some that are around four feet in here. And then you got to drill what, eight holes at least? Mm -hmm. oh, these guys were maniacs. Yeah. Just ba 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 ba. That's exactly what I say. I, I look where I would put something. But sometimes. Some people think it's right. <laughs> That's a good ladder. Oh, yeah. Very uh, confusing. Is she gone? Pretend we don't know where Joe is. <laughs> All right. Oh, where's Joanne? We can't find her anywhere. Ah, oh, Joanne! Damn it. She got me again. Let's see if the black light works with this camera. Oh, the black light works with this camera. That's the black light. I would love to tell you what it all is, but. No idea. Is that, that's, that's a starter. It's got to be a, a starter. Yep. Look at that starter. See the tips all broken off. Yep, that's yep. a starter. Yeah. And what is this we're standing on? So this is a turn sheet or slip sheet, is what we call them. And these these were normally covered in grease. And you just roll your ore cart out onto it, and then just use force to turn it and go whichever direction you want. Just to your go. your brute force and your strength. To now, could you, turn it. now think about it. It's got grease on it, right? And you're standing on it, you're pushing it, you're slipping all over the place. Whoa, whoa! Slip and slide. Hey! That's, that's what was nice about this kind of stuff, is you can stand out here. And push, yeah. But yeah, I'm sure it was messy. I'm sure there was a lot of miners that fell. <laughs> slip oh yeah, come by. Or say, hey buddy, help me out with this thing, it weighs a ton. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine the air was kind of blue in here sometimes. Yeah. 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 God damn it. Uh, yeah. Just get a little velvet on his, on his horn. No. What an incredible day. We just barely scratched the surface and there's so much more to see. 
But this is the end of part one. Look for part two, and we're going to just keep going further and deeper. <laughs>